Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here, kind of on the Iron Man profile, but uh, on Alpha. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Alpha update that was just rolled. They're basically testing out the brand new Dragon Rush and Primal Dragon update. Man, am I pumped for this. This is our first major content um, that we've seen in 2024 so far. And it delivers. It delivers on a lot of areas. I'm pumped. We have some hefty grinds that are going to be coming to the Iron Man profile when these come out. So we might have to do some videos where we start preparing for this because the amount of summoning eyes your boy is going to have to grind is disgusting. But we're going to get into that. If you guys are excited for the new update, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Use code Zach when checking out on the Hypixel store and let's jump right into it. Super quickly before we fully hop onto the alpha, if you do find yourself checking out on the Hypixel store for any of the ongoing B-Pet skins or you're checking out for some booster cookies, a skyblock rank, or anything else in between, don't forget to use my career code code Zach, that's Z-A-C-H, just like my name, for 5% off your purchase. It's a great way to support myself in the channel and you save some money when checking out, so it's a win-win. But shout out to everyone who uses my code on a regular basis you guys are amazing but without further ado let's go hop on the alpha server and take a look there's a lot to look at so we actually have a lot to look at today and oh I, i've i've been doing some dragons kind of testing it out here on the alpha server yesterday but today we're uh, finally here in video form and i want to talk about basically everything that's going on so as soon as you get into alpha there's the centauri uh, npc here who you can talk to and he'll show you a bunch of featured update items um, in here, there's a lot of exciting stuff to look at right off the bat, and that's before you even get to play any of the content. This is like some of the new items that you can expect to uh, be seeing kind of scattered around throughout the update. So first and foremost, we have Summoning Eyes and this brand new Awakened Summoning Eye, okay? So uh, regular Summoning Eyes are the same as they were before. You place eight of them down, you can spawn a dragon, you kill the dragon, you get loot. Great. If you take eight of these and two null avoids in the center, you can craft an awakened summoning eye. Use this at the ender altar in the dragon's nest to summon special ender dragons. So not only do you have a chance of spawning a brand new dragon, but uh, you will spawn multiple dragons, being the dragon rush event, basically. Um, yeah, I, I love the texture on these things, first and foremost. Very random, but uh, I think they look sick. And they are pricey to get. However, uh, you can actually drop them. I don't know if this is like really public information yet, but when you're grinding zealots and grinding for summoning eyes, when you spawn a special zealot, which is where you usually get a regular summoning eye from, you have a 2% chance for instead of being a summoning eye, for it to be an awakened summoning eye. Whether those rates change or not, we'll have to wait and see. That's what I currently know. So if you didn't know that, you learned something new today. So you can actually just genuinely grind these. Um, which I think is really cool, but obviously it's still ridiculously rare. It's like 1 in 50 from a special zealot, so uh, yeah, good luck dropping those. But when you do, man, it's going to be hype. It's the same as dropping 8 summoning eyes and some, and it's like a stack of enchanted obsidian. So, super hype. Then we have the primal dragon egg. So use a cat to upgrade an ender dragon pet to mythic. Now, uh, this is where some complications come in for me. I don't have an ender dragon pet yet, so we're going to be grinding towards that because there's so much XP behind this ender dragon pet. Like, I need to get it, man. Especially mythic, getting it to level 100. Like, there's a lot of XP there we're going to have to try and knock down. Now, the big one. This has drawn a little bit of controversy, the Primal Dragon armor set. So um, the brand new dragon in the end is the Primal Dragon. It can only spawn uh, by having Awakened Summoning Eyes placed, and it's not a guarantee. It's actually still quite rare to spawn, um, but when you get one, you get Primal Dragon fragments or armor pieces similar to like a regular dragon fight, and this armor set is low-key insane. Um, I've heard some people saying it is better than um, it's better than Goldor and Necron while in dungeons. It's better than the Clover Helm and Crimson for Magic Find. I've heard some insane things about this armor set that um, is just ridiculous. So I'm excited to maybe test that out a little bit today. Um, it's gonna be very expensive on the main server though. I've dropped 14 Primal Dragon fragments so far just by leeching. I didn't place on those, but I've only ever seen one Primal Dragon spawned on the alpha. I haven't been on here for long, but they look quite rare. Not to mention you need eight awakened summoning eyes to even have a chance of seeing one. So brand new armor set that is cracked out. So excited for that. Then we have the Blade of Dragonfire, um, which I'm, I think is a drop from Primal Dragons as well, if I'm not mistaken. I need to look more into this. But it's basically a massive upgrade to the um, aspect of the dragons. Basically, as you can see, ability ultimate dragon rage, all monsters in front of you take X amount of damage, hit monsters take large knockback. It looks pretty good. I don't know what uses we'll really find for it, but I'm sure people will find some type of use and uh, we'll kind of just go from there. 
Then we have a new accessory, the General's Medallion. Increases the base stats of your dungeon items by 1%, while in the Catacombs, for each digit on your secret count. So uh, your boy's gonna, gonna have to do some more secrets, so I can actually get to uh, that one day 7% max stat increase, which is honestly really good, really cool. To get this accessory, though, you need to find Zod, who's gonna be a new NPC in a brand new dungeon room, a rare dungeon room, and buy it from him. So that's another thing to keep your eyes out for when this rolls, kind of looking through dungeons and... Good luck finding it. Next thing we have, this thing's really cool too, because this will save a lot of dungeon runs. The Architect's First Draft. I don't know how to obtain this item yet. It might just be like a secret. Like um, like you can find it in like secret chests or a dropped item similar to treasure talismans or uh, chest keys, that type of thing. That's my guess, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, can be used to reset a puzzle room when in dungeons. A reset button seems to have been hidden somewhere in the floor just in case something goes wrong. This is really great. Uh, in case you shoot like the wrong blaze late in a run or um, maybe even bomb defuse, like your chest get blown up. Like I could see a lot of uses for this and a lot of runs can be saved because of it. And I know like when someone fails tic-tac-toe for, for who knows why, it's uh, a mood killer. So really cool to see. Um, those are the majority of the main items added, but I said we go and hop into the end and see what this Dragon Rush event is all about. Also, for any of you Skyblock XP lovers, there's two new additions to the museum that I've seen so far. We have the Primal Dragon Armor, which can now be added. Uh, so that's another Skyblock entry. And then on the weapon side of things, right at the end, we have the Blade of Dragonfire. There could be more in case I missed it. I looked through pretty quickly. I don't think there is. But uh, yeah, two new things that you can add to the museum. So don't forget to do that when you get them on the main server so you can get that Skyblock XP. So as soon as I get here, it looks like some people are placing some Awakened Summoning Eyes. Another thing though, there's like this new Quiver Flint Arrow or like whatever arrow you're holding. Wave 1 of 5 is starting. Wait, Dragon... Oh my goodness, wait, did we actually get a dragon rush? Is that like, oh, oh my goodness, hold up, hold up. Did we get something? We might've just walked into something a little rare here. Uh, we're gonna have to wait and see. It says dragon rush, wave ended. Uh, what does that even mean? That was wave one. Okay, I'm I'm really confused and except wave two. Oh my goodness, okay. So I think this is the event that has a chance of happening. Dragon rush where you get multiple waves of dragons which is kind of insane. Um, I'm assuming there's gonna be a primal dragon on the last wave then, is that how you get these? Uh, we're gonna have to wait and see. But something that is on alpha that I'm not really a fan of is when you hold right click with your turn, it like draws back a little bit and shoots and has puts like uh, quiver arrows like in your hotbar. So I, I don't really like that part of it, I can't even lie. Um, wait, can people just spawn more dragons while the dragon rush event's going on? And that's kind of insane if that is the case, but yeah, as you can see, um, there's multiple waves is basically this dragon rush. This doesn't always happen. This isn't a guaranteed. And oh my goodness, people are spawning more dragons while the dragon rush is going on. Okay, that's this is going to be kind of ridiculous. But yeah, lots of chaos, lots of dragons, and uh, overall a pretty good time. Um, oh my goodness, like look at this. There's so many dragons. Four dragons just spawned. Oh my lord. Holy... Okay. Yeah, see, terms kind of shoot weird on Alpha. I don't, I don't know if this is, like, something we're seeing coming to the main server. Because, like, you can't really run around with it. Like, in dungeons, I could see that being a massive issue, you know? But we'll have to wait and see. All right, there's uh, one wave left, if I'm not mistaken. And... Oh, it wasn't a Primal Dragon. Wise and old. Okay, that's kind of weird. There's, like, a Primal spawn after this, or is this just, like, another thing? I don't really know. There's still a lot to learn. Uh, wave ended. Okay. Now what? <laughs> oh, okay, bonus wave, the primal dragon. Okay, so here we go. This is the, the big boy. This is the brand new dragon. I didn't place anything on this dragon, so we won't really see. But we can see what the uh, kind of like loot share drops are going to look like. Um, where'd this thing go? There he is. There we go. Come on. Go, buddy. And he should be almost done. I don't know how much health he has in comparison to like a superior. Because uh, the way like everything looks has kind of changed. Like on your scoreboard, you get like a total damage. The amount of dragons left, what wave number you're on. That's just for the Dragon Rush event. So uh, quite a few changes. And um, still have a lot to learn about it, obviously. It's like a whole new game mechanic in a sense. But um, yeah, turn feels weird holding down right click on. It feels like it doesn't really shoot properly. So maybe I just spam right and left click. I don't really know. Term feels a little strange on Alpha, I can't even lie. Yeah, it's not even shooting. What's going on? <laughs> Very weird. I'll, I'll, have to, I'll have to ask around about that. 
because I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or terms just like broken now who really knows alrighty there we go someone took it out and look at this because of how many dragons there were the amount of loot around like this little sphere is insane uh, in terms of primal dragon fragments, it looks like how many did we get from loot sharing four? So we, we got four that time uh, Nothing amazing or insane there, but I mean we'll take it especially if you get it for free But yeah, that's the dragon rush event which has a very rare chance of happening uh, Someone got a blade of dragon fire So that's something you can get and then the people who placed got some primal dragon uh, Armor pieces themselves. So that's pretty cool um, Overall very interesting. It's uh, yeah very, very unique, I guess you could say. Uh, a lot of dragons, a lot of chaos, very similar to like the early days of Skyblock, which honestly is kind of a vibe. A big thing I want to talk about too is the set bonus on Primal Dragon Armor. So as you can see, this armor set does have a full set bonus being Primal Blood. Increases armor stats by 20% for each digit of your dragon kills. Um, I'm assuming this maxes at 1000%. Uh, or at 100%, sorry. So right now my current set bonus is 60%. Next upgrade is at 80% when I get to 1,000. Um, yeah, really interesting. So I'm assuming it maxes at 10,000 dragon kills, if I'm not mistaken. I could be completely wrong by that. But here, let's go ahead and place uh, four eyes so I can show you guys like how it normally goes. Dragon Rush isn't the guarantee every time, but I'm assuming that's how you get Primal Dragon. So you're going to have to hope you get lucky, which is just another insane thing. I'm going to have to be doing a lot of... Um, Oh, wait, we got Dragon Rush. You get Dragon Rush every time? I'm confused. I, I had some earlier where, like, we were placing Awakening Eyes, and you would get, like, one wave, and, and that was that. Like, GG's, go next. Um, So I don't know if this is every time with Awakening Eyes or or what, but it says wave ended. So I, I guess we just got another Dragon Rush? I, I still need to figure out, like, how it's proc'd. Is it guaranteed every single time you place Awakened Eyes? I'm not really sure, so... I have a lot of learning to do about it, obviously, and um, that's kind of the whole point of Alpha, is playing, testing it out, seeing what happens when you place certain items down, and so far, it's pretty chill. So that time we actually didn't get a bonus round, um, so we didn't get Primal Dragon, but here's all the loot I got from placing four of those Awakened Eyes. Look at this. Look at the amount of Dragon Armor pieces. We got an Aspect of the Dragon in here, just chest plates for days. Fragments for days. It's actually insane. Like my inventory is like filling up from drops, but to be fair it should considering um, I placed like 32 summoning eyes worth of uh, summoning eyes with those four So I guess that makes sense um, There aren't also no new essence perks in case anyone was wondering but you will be getting essence a lot faster I mean like look at all the stuff I have to salvage, but it is a lot of summoning eyes worth of eyes um, basically for one of those so I guess you would hope that you get some stuff like that So I, I guess the drops make sense when you think about it in that way, but yeah really interesting I mean like look at all the stuff we got from like placing four awakened eyes. It's insane So I didn't record that one, but basically there was only one wave uh, that time So you you like really have to get lucky which is crazy too Like you, you could end up with just three dragons being spawned You could end up with five waves and a primal you could end up with three waves. It's it's a very all over the place. There's a lot of luck and almost gambling, I guess you could say, in terms of when you place those awakened eyes, you're hoping for a lot of um, waves to either like hopefully get some money back or you're really counting on like that primal dragon spawning. So uh, it's going to be a new type of gambling method. There's going to be a lot of people doing drags for a long time. So that's like a really fun part. Like whenever you go to the end, I guarantee you people will be doing awakened uh, summoning eyes for a good while. So it's a lot of fun uh, on Iron Man. It's gonna be risky when I go to place down those awakened summoning eyes eventually, but um, I think it, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun and uh, should be pretty hype if you actually get a primal dragon. So I'm gonna have to be doing a lot of um, primal dragon leeching though if I ever want that full set on my Iron Man. Like shamelessly, I'm gonna have to leech a lot of primal dragons. Otherwise, I'm just never gonna have. Uh, I'm never going to be able to get my hands on it, so it's going to be rough, but it should be fun. So from hanging out in the end for a while, watching these people place down a bunch of Awakened Summoning Eyes, it's actually quite rare to get multiple waves. Um, every time that you place eight Awakened Eyes, you're like almost guaranteed to get multiple drags. Like I haven't seen really anyone place down eight of them or like eight of them be placed and not see multiple drags. But most of the time, it's just like one wave, like a couple will spawn and that's that type of thing. So to get like... Uh, a full dragon rush of like five waves and like the primal at the end has got to be ridiculously rare like see for example this time around a strong and an old dragon spawn only two dragons spawned and no waves that's that's all you get so um which i think is like one of the most like likely outcomes is you just get a couple drags i've seen like 
Uh, sometimes where it's like four, three, two, and uh, that's kind of it. But see, for those eight awakened summoning eyes, this is it. Like those two dragons is all you get. Um, so it's, it's going to be an insane uh, price for like primal dragon armor. And like people are going to be grinding summoning eyes like no tomorrow. Um, it's it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be like OG Skyblock days in a sense and we're all working towards like this new insane armor set like this armor set is crazy. So uh, Yeah, kind of ridiculous. Also for anyone wondering if you go ahead and slap these in the hex or anywhere uh, They can be starred if I'm not mistaken. They can with with dragon essence So you're gonna need a good amount of dragon essence saved up to actually start this but as you can see, it can be five starred, uh, which is pretty cool. If we go ahead and keep it in the hex here, obviously you can put a recom on it. Uh, you can put hot potato books, fumings, all the normal stuff, reforge. Um, and yeah, you can upgrade it to a, upgrade item or convert a regular item into a dungeon item with essence. Okay, yeah, so you can do that too. Um, yeah, looks really interesting, not gonna lie. Also, this dragon bro is in my grill, like hello, but yeah, you can do a lot of cool stuff with it. There's also gemstone slots, which is really nice. Um, it's just a very upgradable armor set and a really cracked armor set. So I'm, I'm excited to see its uses and see how it actually stacks up in game. I don't know if they meant for it to be better than Necron and Goldor in dungeons and better than the Clover Helm with Crimson for Magic Find. So uh, yeah, this armor set gets really cracked, especially as you um, basically work your way through dragon kills. Like right now, each piece is giving me um eight magic find and this scales like two more times i'm assuming so add like another 40 percent onto that and we're, we're looking at some crazy stats so really cool armor set though i really like the concept if they mean for it to be like one of the best armor sets in the game like th they meant for it to be good i don't know if they meant for it to be this good um is kind of my one thing but we'll have to wait and see i love the look of the set it just looks dope another massive part of this update though is crazy pet changes we're talking like perk reworks or buffs or uh, little fixes. They actually messed around with 12 different pets, um, ranging from fishing content to combat to basically every part of the game. So there's a ton of pet changes. Uh, I'm not going to go through each one of them, but just like one to the, like really note that I thought was really, really cool was like the Megalodon pet now is probably like best in class for fit just during fishing festivals, which is honestly how I thought it always should have been. And I actually mentioned that to an admin way back when I first got my ever first megalodon pet so uh nice to see them do that now now that i'm done with fishing festivals and my megalodon's level 100 legendary but uh just stuff like that there's a lot of really cool pet reworks that we're gonna basically come across and slowly go over throughout our regular series as we test them all out and use them for a lot of different cases making some pets more useful than they were before and um, for example, they changed like the zombie pet. It's no longer collection level nine to unlock. It's collection level six, basically making it better for those early game players, which is what the pets intended for. So that type of thing. Uh, I'll leave a link to the forum post though, going over all the discussed changes in the description down below. If, if you care about like those little stat changes or you'll just come across them as you play, but um, yeah, there's some really interesting ones to uh, read over, so make sure you take a look at the forum post. There is actually one more piece of content that I just discovered that I want to talk about. There's actually a new mob. I haven't really seen too many people bring it up, but it's the Dragon Protector. Now, you might be wondering, what is that? And honestly, I was too until I just saw one of them running around, and I was curious, does it have a bestiary? It does. It has a bestiary. Uh, as my game completely freezes and this alpha lobby struggles, there is a brand new bestiary family being the Dragon Protector. Um, this thing is an Iron Golem. Uh, I just saw one running around. It has 50 million health. I don't know if it has like a loot pool or anything. I haven't killed one. But uh, yeah, something to look out for is like these Endstone Protectors basically or dragon protectors, I should say, running around. I also think they only spawn during a primal dragon. I could be completely mistaken, though, but that is the only time I've seen them. Uh, there's just a primal dragon spawned, and I saw um, a dragon protector. I don't know how many you have to kill to max the bestiary. What they drop... Oh, here... Wait, here... Okay, wait, one just spawned. Let's see if we can find a dragon protector anywhere. Uh, any dragon protectors, please? Let's see if we can spot one. Uh, here's one. Dragon Protector. Hey, buddy. Good to see ya. Uh, yeah, these things also take, like, Endstone Protector type of damage, which is fun. But, yeah, this is a Dragon Protector. They have 50 million health. They're a little tricky to take down. And the problem is, that I see with them, is I'm pretty sure they despawn when the, um, Dragon despawns. So, you need to kill them pretty quick. And it's kind of annoying because you're going to want to kill... 
the primal dragon, but you're gonna need to kill these. So I don't know if I can kill this thing in time. Uh, help, help kill this thing, please. I wanna kill it before the dragon dies. Oh, the dragon died. Uh, let's see. I don't think we'll, I, I'm assuming it's gonna despawn here. It, it should, right? Or, or well, actually, yeah, there it goes. So you need to kill them relatively quick. Um, I didn't really have the setup on to actually take that thing out. But something to look out for. You're going to need to kill those. There's a whole new bestiary line. I don't know what they drop. I don't know if they drop anything, but they're there for bestiary. So pretty cool. So I think that's going to do it for us on the alpha today. If you want to test out and basically check out everything that's going to be coming in this brand new Dragon Rush update, whether it be the pet changes, how the dragons work, some of the loot pools, make sure you hop on the alpha, actually test it out. That's what alpha is here for. So we can play test and basically find all the bugs and glitches that need to be ironed out before it actually makes it to the main server. And honestly, it's a lot of fun. You can basically place an unlimited amount of awakened summoning eyes and get as many primal dragons as you want with no cost or grind time to yourself you can just buy them in the hub so a lot of fun i highly recommend it i'll probably be messing around the alpha a little bit more just to kind of see how things flow and that's what i've been doing but um i'm really excited for this to come to main we have a lot of summoning eye grinding ahead of us and a lot of material grinding uh dragon essence we need to grind out there's a lot of fun stuff we're gonna have to do on the main server when this finally comes out and maybe we'll do a video kind of preparing for the update in the coming days but if you guys are excited for this update make sure you let me know in the comments down below leave a like and subscribe on the video if you did enjoy and if you enjoy the alpha content when an update is being previewed here i enjoy making these type of videos it's kind of cool seeing the future of skyblock and we literally get to test out an update before it comes out so it's always a good time but thank you so much for watching don't forget to use code zach on the high pixel store and without further ado i'll see you guys in the next one take care and peace out